Hello everyone and welcome to today's Gems of War video. In this video I have for you my scouting report for Cotsiel week beginning on July 22nd, 2024. You can see Cotsiel right there on the northern edge of the map between Glacial Peaks and Stormheim. And in the underworld you can find Emperina Czar again kind of on the northern edge of the map between Mirrored Halls and Frostfire Keep. So let's go ahead and talk about Katsil and Emperina Czar. Katsil is a stone life kingdom. The trade stone that's available there is the pure brown arcane deep trade stone, which unfortunately makes Katsil the best place to farm all brown trade stones. So if you are if you are making a big push to get a lot of those smaller uh, brown trade stones or you need the arcane deep trade stone, just know that you're not, you're probably going to take the week off during Katsil week. The maximum power for Katsil is going to go from 28 all the way to the cap of 30. The hero class for Katsil is Rune Priest, which is one of the two dwarf classes. Personally, I prefer the Slayer class from in Draxum to Rune Priest. The Emperina Czar faction restriction is yellow or brown. The four uh, troops that are available are pretty much kobolds. Amparina Zara is a really good uh, healer slash resummoner. Uh, just to get the best uh, use of her, you'll need the kobolds uh, as well because that's who she's going to summon in. The weapon that's available in Amparina Zara is the Amparina's Tooth, which is a little bit more uh, collectible than uh, useful, but that's actually not a big deal uh, for Codseal, at least for right now. There are going to be a grand total of 39 troops available in Codseal at the beginning of Codseal week. Right now, there are 31 Codseal troops available in the chest drop tables, of which three of them are mythics. Two uh, Cotsiel troops will be added during Cotsiel week. One of them will be in the glory shop and immediately added to the chest drop tables. The other one is a siege breaker that's going to be available in the guild shop and added to the chest drop tables sometime later. And the Emperina Czar portal, as I mentioned, has four troops available. There is one major arcana tarot card available in the drop table. It's called the Empress and it's pretty good. And you also have Darksmith Drenza, who is only available by a special recipe in the Soul Forge. Uh, she is definitely worth uh, worth crafting, in my opinion. Uh, and of course, you'll need all 39 of them anyway. So um, back to, uh, but let's talk about the Core 4 and 4 more. Now that we're back on my go over there. Okay, the Core 4 team. This is your trials team. Uh, this is how I how I arranged them when I when I beat the epic trials. Uh, King High Forge is the legendary, and he is definitely worth picking up if you can. I would recommend uh, trying to get him with event keys if you do not have them. Uh, Stone loyalty. All dwarf allies start with 50% mana. Is going to really help you out in a lot of different things in Cotsiel week. Put him in your invasion team, put him in just about anything. But anyway, the um, uh, as for the rest of them, you're probably going to want to spam Runesmith uh, spell into Lady Ironbeard, because Runesmith basically gives an ally attack and armor boost by three to one red gems. And then Lady Ironbeard does damage to an enemy if the enemy's armor is weaker, deals triple damage and gains five armor. You're not going to need her spell as much as you just want to have her just collecting as much attack as you can and then just try to try to win with skulls. That's pretty much how to do it, in my opinion. As for the four more lists, the Deep Boar is, uh, is a rare. So you'll be able to get this one from the gold chests eventually if you do not already have them. But do make sure that you've unlocked all three traits because he gains bonus blue mana from blue gem matches. Uh, Zach Boom Grizzle is the previous Siege Breaker. So even though he won't double his magic and double your score, 
and this one, he'll still do a whole lot of damage to towers, uh, particularly if you already have them to level 20, and that's both uh, by skull damage and by spell damage. So I, I do recommend that you use one copy of him and one copy of the new uh, Siege Breaker, and then probably King High Iron, King, King, King High for um, High Forge, and your hero with whatever weapon you want. The Rock Troll, uh, all the trolls are very useful to get, so I keep my eyes on them whenever I'm doing my recommendations. Uh, same things as Rock Trolls usually do. This one doubles the number of brown on the board and creates three brown gems. Pretty good. And then as far as the four mythics, as I mentioned, Darksmith Drenza is a special recipe in the Soul Forge. Usually I do not include those as my recommendations, but I would recommend her over all three of the other options. But if I'm going based on just the ones that you can get from either the Soul Forge occasionally and the, the uh, chests, then it would be Ares. Uh, Ares does a random amount of damage to the first enemy, and if they die, explodes eight gems, and then gives four armor to all brown allies when matching brown gems. So yeah, it's a pretty good one, but you really, really, really need to have someone else on the team that can stun the first enemy so that the clobber trait actually works, because otherwise Ares doesn't have an option to stun the first enemy. And of course, as I mentioned before, if you want to get Kotzil to power 30, you need every single one of these troops. You can't afford to have anyone missing. Anyway, let's move on to the weapons. Weapons actually are not gonna be that much different as far as what we're talking about, because there's only 14 weapons available in Kotzil right now. And I'm not sure, but I believe that Deep Stone is a, um, is a paywall weapon. And who wants to buy paywall weapons that you're never going to use? Uh, but anyway, uh, there will be one more weapon that should be available uh, because we're going to be having an invasion week. So that should give you one flexible option as far as a weapon that you do not pick up. And so having said that, you're going to just pick up, if you're going to go for power 30, you're just going to pick up everything else, including Emperina's Tooth, which is only going to be available on Tuesday. And you've got this doomed weapon, which I really think is, is going to help you out a lot in Kotzil Week. It does heavy splash damage, brown weapon. It's, you, there's really not a lot of options as far as heavy damage dealers in Kotzil. Um, so, so Doom Sledge definitely will help you out in the uh, class trials, help you out in Under Inspire, stuff like that. Anyway, let's go ahead over to the pets. So remember to get to power 30, you need to have four, four of these at level 20 and a fifth one at any level. Shallow Boar, uh, you get this one from Pet Rescue and uh, it gives you a team bonus for Kotzil. Those are the ones I consider to be the most important, along with the Starry version of it, which you get from the Epic Trials. Uh, Rocky gives you a team bonus for Earth, but uh, this is very situational because you have, in order to get that team bonus, uh, every troop on your team has to be using ground mana and ha all has to be unique. Uh, so no duplicates. Baby Beard gives you a team bonus for dwarves, which is which is decent. And then Crinkle's Toy Bag gives you uh, up to plus five skill points for Chris Crinkle in all stats. And so, yeah, those are the... the and then oh, Cobalt Kitty, of course, is the pet that you can... Uh, get from Emperina Czar. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about all of the weekly events that we're gonna get for this week. Uh, the guild event, of course, as I mentioned, is the invasion. It is a dwarf restriction, so you can get uh, you can get the dwarves from Draxum if you want. However, as I said, you're probably gonna use the new uh, event captain, the old event captain, King High, High Forge, and your hero with some uh, with some weapon. 
And uh, the weekly pet rescue is going to be Crinkle's toy bag. The Rune Priest class trial, the best way to go through, go and get that done is to have a high damage dealing brown weapon with any combinations of dwar Dwarven Miner and Rune Chanter to give you that three times uh, uh, brown uh, mana bonus. Um, but if you don't want to use a brown weapon, you can use a blue weapon if you have three deep boars, or you can use a red weapon if you have three runesmiths. The weekend event is going to be the Arena of Valor, but let's talk about something more important, and that is PvP Season 1. And that is going to begin during Kotsil Week. Uh, Syrian put out a video that covered a lot of what uh, PvP Season 1 is going to look like. I'm not going to cover everything he did, but I will link the video in my description. Uh, there are going to be 11 new Immortals uh, that are going to be added to the game during, uh, during PvP Season 1. Um, I looked at the screen that Siren showed us, and if the Immortals that are on his screen are the Immortals that we're going to get, then the power increases will look like what you see on the, on the screen right here. The most important increases are going to be Hellcrag going from 19 to 20, and Glacial Peaks going from 29 to the cap of 30, although Glacial Peaks would have gone to the cap of 30 in two weeks anyway, or two weeks from the beginning of Katsu Week anyway. Um, at the beginning of PvP Season 1, unfortunately, there all of our VP uh, totals are going to be go are going to go all the way back to zero, which means Alliance chat's going to be pretty quiet for a while. And uh, so, if if you're watching this during Broken Spire Week, there's absolutely no reason to farm VP right now because it's all going to go away anyway. And as for the uh, as for the season pass uh, from Syrian's uh, video, it looks like there's going to be both a free uh, version and a premium version. I don't know if there's going to be a, a double premium version or something stupid like that, but if the two passes that are going to be available are the ones that he showed, I think they're fair. I think that uh, I think the free pass gets a decent amount of things if uh, for 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 a decent amount of effort, uh, but the premium pass obviously gets a lot more. But I, overall, I would say fair, but and I'm sure plenty of people will disagree with me on that. Um, as for uh, switching your alliance during Kotsil week, you'll be able to do that as often as you want without losing any VP or loyalty. So if you want to spend one day in Dark Order, then one day in something else that's not the Dark Order, then another day and something else that's also not the Dark Order, then you can do that. Just make sure that when Katsio Week is over, you're in the kingdom you want to be in because you will lose VP uh, if you switch your alliance after the first week. And that is about it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving it a like. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of my content. And in the comments below, let me know everything I got wrong. And I will see you in the next video.